hello viewers in today's class we are going to uh, solve one important uh, integral involving dirac delta function right so here uh, we have to evaluate uh, this uh, integral and uh, here uh, this function is uh, the dirac uh, delta function right okay so now in order to evaluate uh, this uh, uh, integral uh, we have to make use of uh, important properties of uh, Dirac delta function right so before applying the properties uh, let us uh, first see uh, this uh, expression right so here we have a delta of uh, x square minus 3x plus 2 and uh, let us first uh, factorize uh, this expression right so here we have uh, a trinomial and uh, this trinomial is to be uh, factorized uh, with the help of splitting a uh, middle term right so if we uh, uh, factorize it then we'll get x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 right so now we can write it as x x minus 2 minus 1 x minus 2 so we have x minus 2 times x minus 1 right okay so now this uh, integral i can be written as from minus infinity to infinity here we have x cube plus 1 and here we have delta of uh, x minus 1 and x minus 2 right okay so now we have expressed uh, this integral in the form uh, minus infinity to infinity let us call this uh, uh, cubic function as f of x and this function as uh, delta of uh, x minus a and x minus b right so now uh, we have expressed uh, this integral in the form of uh, this one right so if we compare uh, these two we see that f of x is x cube plus 1 and the value of a is 1 because this is x minus 1 and the value of b is 2 right okay so now uh, here we'll uh, make use of one important property of uh, Dirac delta function uh, which says that uh, delta of x minus a times x minus b is equal to uh, 1 over uh, mod of a minus b and uh, here we have delta of x minus a plus delta of x minus b right okay so uh, this property says that uh, delta of this x minus 1 times x minus 2 uh, it can be written as uh, equal to 1 over uh, mod of a minus b so here we have 1 minus 2 and here we have delta of x minus 1 plus delta of x minus 2 right okay so now uh, we know that a mod of 1 minus 2 is uh, mod of minus 1 which is 1 so here we have 1 over 1 that is 1 so we simply have delta of x minus 1 plus delta of x minus right okay so now uh, this integral i uh, can be written as uh, uh, integral from minus infinity to infinity and uh, here we have uh, x cube plus 1 and uh, then we have here uh, delta of x minus 1 plus delta of x minus 2 right dx so now uh, this integral uh, can be written as a sum of uh, 
two integrals so here we have minus infinity to infinity and uh, x cube plus 1 delta of x minus 1 dx plus uh, we have uh, here uh, integral from uh, minus infinity to infinity then we have x cube plus 1 and delta of x minus 2 dx right so now we have uh, two integrals right now <coughs> at this point uh, we'll again uh, make use of one important property of uh, uh, Dirac delta function uh, which says that uh, if we have the integral from minus infinity to infinity f of x and delta of x minus a uh, dx then uh, this integral is equal to f of a right so what we will do uh, see here we have delta of x minus a so we'll simply find out uh, the value of this function f of x at x equal to a right so if we take uh, uh, this integral then we see that the value of a is 1 here and here the value of a is 2 and f of x is x cube plus 1 and here also f of x is equal to x cube plus 1 right so now uh, uh, utilizing this uh, property we can uh, now write this expression as f of uh, 1 and plus this integral uh, can be written as f of 2 right and f of 1 is see this is f of x so f of 1 is 1 cube plus 1 and f of 2 is 2 cube plus 1 right and 1 cube plus 1 is simply uh, 2 and this is 2 cube is 8 8 plus 1 9 so we have 2 plus 9 equal to 11 right so the value of uh, uh, this uh, integral involving Dirac delta function is equal to 11 right